Hello. Today I want to show you how to extend your partition in the uh, hard disk. This is an external hard disk that I want to extend. So I've already deleted the first partition and now I want to extend this. But when I want to do that, I get an error message which I'm going to show you. In order to get to this place, you need to click on the window and type disk management and then select that and then you will come to this page. Uh, so hopefully you will know how to do that yourself. But now I'm going to show you the error. So I click, right click and then I say extend volume. Then I click next. Then I click again next and then I click finish. And it gives me the, this message operation you selected will convert and then you say yes okay let's do that and then I get this error virtual disk manager uh, error the operation is not supported by the object so let's click OK what you have to do when you face this situation uh, you need to use the third-party software because unfortunately Microsoft disk management is not as uh, advanced as some of the third party offers. So we need to go to a website called easeus.com. Then you go there and you download by clicking on download. I've already downloaded the file and then you need to just double click on it to install it. This is already checked and you click install. Install free. Then you get this message, congratulations, we have completed the installation. Then click on start now. Let's get off, get rid of this, and this is again trying to sell uh, their professional version. You can just close that. So the disk that we wanted to extend was, or you need to find that out. It's really important, and you can see here unallocated, which is disk three and the name is photos and videos and it's drive O. so select it click on resize and you can see here there is a thingy that you can push to the right and it gives you the new size 1.81 TB and and then you can click OK before doing so I want to emphasize that it's very important and anything you do with partition you have a backup of that data so I totally and strongly recommend you guys to back up your information in that drive which I've already done as you can see in this other drive which I call photos and videos backup before you uh, carrying on this action because there is always the risk that things could go wrong then click OK And it comes down or up here and then you click execute and it says this partition was around 870 GB and it's gonna become 1.81 TB I say yes that's what I want and click apply process is happening
okay now it says 100 percent down click on finish thank you for choosing okay don't want to give feedback now but if i go here if you remember that was photos and videos and now it got 1.81 tb and everything inside is still as it was before creating that partition and if i go back to here it shows that this photos and videos doesn't have any other partitions that you could extend to even though some other ones like disk zero you can see there is some un unallocated but it's just 100 megabytes you can ignore that and there is another disk four they got also some hidden partition that's not really visible in the disk management if you go to the windows disk management it doesn't display those unallocated one it does for this c drive or disk zero but it doesn't do for the other one so it's quite a comprehensive software for extending your partition obviously it gives you other things to do um, allocate space cloning changing level checking the system and more more things that you can do with it there are other tools here data recovery system optimization window pe creator partition recovery migrate so there are a lot of things you could do, do with this and you again as i said you could buy the uh, professional version and and have more access to their tools again if you are a personal user then you might not really need that but for some companies uh they might need that i hope this video was really useful for you guys if it was i always appreciate if you put the comments below um to give me some feedbacks and if you really liked it put please a thumbs up and share to your friends so that i could promote my channel a bit more i feel i don't get as many views as the, as the quality of my video i feel i kind of deserve a bit more number of views and subscribers compared to the other youtubers it might be a bit selfish statement but uh, i hope you guys be able to help me to achieve that by solving your problems thanks guys see you later bye